Okay, welcome to California Traditions, and uh, we're at San Antonio Mission in California, and, and uh, we're at, a, at an Orno that uh, we built here at the mission not too long ago, and, and um, uh, this is the uh, first and so far the only Orno I've been involved in building, and, and uh, so it's a little bit of a learning experience for me, and if I build another one, I might might uh, do, do it a little bit differently, but but, uh, you know, I kind of was, my first owner, or no, I was pretty intimidated, so, so we, we built it fairly small, and, and, uh, but, uh, so if I build another one, I would probably build it a little bit bigger, and, and, uh, you know, most of the original Ornos were probably a little bit bigger than this, and, and, uh, we built this Orno, with, you know, using, using fire brick and fire clay, and, and, um, you know, because we wanted it to last, and, uh, because with, uh, with a lot of the Ornos, they, they would take a lot of upkeep and because uh, some of the Ornos were made out of Adobe and, and so with an Adobe Orno, they, they, uh, you know, the Adobe will, will, uh, will, uh, kind of disintegrate with use and, and then, uh, and some Ornos were made with, with fired brick and then they were probably a little bit more resistant and, and, uh, you no, know, and then some of them, like, well, I've seen some in South America at least that were made out of, I think one in Baja California actually too are made out of out of lava rock, you know, and so I I suspect the lava rock might have been a pretty good material too, as, as far as being heat resistant and the, the uh, durable and and uh, so so the Ornos were a really really popular feature in in the, in the colonial and rancho California and all the missions and then some of the ranchos and and uh, the Ornos tend to be kind of a big thing and and uh, you know they're more 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 useful for for cooking the large amounts of of uh, of bread and cookies or whatever you want to put in it, and, or if you want to throw a pig or a chunk of meat or whatever in them. And, and uh, so so for everyday family use, they weren't weren't that practical because uh, you know you have to light a fire in it and get the whole thing hot and and then uh, you know and then put your food in and and so they're really uh, Really, most uh, most appropriate for for uh, for large cooking large quantities of food, and and so you'd see them on some ranchos, and but but you wouldn't necessarily see them that often with uh, individual adobes, and and uh, <clears throat> so so anyway, anyway the way they would, they'd work, you just just build a fire in them, and then and then you heat the whole mass of the of the, of the orno, and then and then. Uh, you can uh, you can push the embers aside or or even pull them out, but a lot of times they just push the embers aside and and then put your food in there and then uh, you know and then you have some type of a closure here. We don't have it here right now, but have a wooden closure we put there and um, there was some burlap cloth that we would we dampen so that uh, the wood wouldn't burn up and and then the the heat would it was uh, accumulated in the in the mass of the or the Orno would radiate back into the interior of the Orno, and then, you know, and then that would cook your food. And, and uh, so, so a lot of times you could put uh, you put several items in the Orno, and and once you got it fired up and hot, and you put your big chunks of round bread in, and get them cooked, and pull them out, and then a lot of times you still have some residual heat in the Orno that you cook smaller stuff, and you know, bolillo, small small bread, or you know, or or uh, uh, biscochos, like, you know, sweet, small sweet bread kind of things. And, and uh, so, so, you know, there you have it for what we know mostly about Ornos and, and uh, to be continued.